10 in our last video on the Eagle Clutcher series where we're going to wrap up making this game and complete our first game in Game Maker Studio 2. And as you can see here we have completed all but three of the skills that you need to be able to get to level three there. So let's start cracking and get those last three done. In this final tutorial you will learn how to add sounds to Game Maker Studio. You can see we've completed pretty much all of our specifications apart from some of the ones in the aesthetics. So to finish those off we need to add background music, sound for the demon dying and sound for a baby dying. So here we go we have to make three sounds so to start off with we'll bring them over here and we'll create the sounds the same as we create fonts and the same as we can create sprites we can create sounds and import um, those sounds into our computer. So our first sound we're going to do is the background sound. S and D. Background. I'm going to go to here and you can see that we have the demon, the baby and the music background. The music is going to background. Now can you notice the different um, the three or two different types of sound. One is a wave and one's MP3. Wave is clearer, um, but it's uncompressed. So that's normally only used for little sound effects. Where if you've got loopy music, you use MP3s or compressed files because that saves the space. So we're gonna go to the MP3, go open. So he's in here. Now, this MP3 is compressed. It's not streamed. We're not taking it offline. It is just purely there and it's not streaming, so it's just there, and all the other settings are fine. So we'll just close you down, and we see we've got sound background here. So the background will live in our object roller because we control, because we want it to run for the entire game. So we incorporate it into the create. We want it to start playing when we create the game. So the create event is what's going to start it, and I'm just going to close you for a second and say look for sound. Right here, so we have play audio, stop audio, stop audio, no, we just play audio is all we want. Nice and simple, says the score to zero, then plays the audio, the sound that we're going to choose is sound background. Do you want to loop it? Yes. When it gets to the end, we want it to go again, and we don't have to worry about target, it is fine, it's just going to play here. So let's play it and have a look. So we know the music plays in the background there, that's fine. So that's the background music. Now we need to add the music for the baby or the sound effects of the baby and the demon being killed. So let's just add those two sounds in first. So create sound, uh, SMD baby. I'm going to load in baby wave. Uh, yeah, and this one is uncompressed again. It's not streaming. It's actually being loaded from the computer. So that's that. Sound baby and create sound. Sound demon. And it's uncompressed, not streamed. Okay, so we've got all those. Now, first we now need to go press F12 and find our object baby, you'll do. So it's when the object baby is killed. So that's when the baby is actually killed by the fireball. So what we wanna do is put the sound in here. Hey audio, the sound is baby. We don't want to loop, just want to play once and that be all fine. So baby's there. And minimize that and the demon here. And demon hits a fireball, same thing. Sound, play sound, and choose demon. Don't loop it, runs it, that's fine. Let's have a look and see if it makes the sounds that we want. See 
why that is. Okay, I'm back after a quick troubleshoot to see why my demon sound wasn't working and so I came in and I had a look at a few of my sounds and I opened this up and I pressed that and the baby was working and I came down and clicked this and that sound wasn't going and this was grayed out because I'd forgotten to point to the demon file here. So it's been opened up, so that was missed. Closing that down now, if I run the game. Okay, so now we have a fully functional game. Well, there you have it. Our first Game Maker Studio game. We've gone through and completed it. We've checked all the errors and it's running nice and smooth. Congratulations. So you'll see in completing that tutorial, we've now learned how to create sounds and how to play audio and how to have the, tell the difference between looping and non-looping sounds. So, and in completing all these skills, you now know how to understand, well, you now understand how to add objects to a game which move on their own accord or in response to the players and interact with each other. Your challenge now is to take the game and take the knowledge that you've learned and see if you can work out ways of enhancing the game and making changes to its design. Good luck.